when we add a new dimension uh, to the shared dimension folder, like the name column over here from my sales person uh, table, add as a shared dimension like this, it goes in there with just, well, the name. Uh, if we look into dimension properties, of course, we can change the name of the dimension itself, maybe until salesperson. So that will mean that we now get a salesperson dimension with just a single name attribute like this. Looking at the time dimension, we can have a look at this dimension property, the type property. By default, it's regular, but maybe you should change this one to a time type. So just to make sure that this time dimension will work properly on all platforms. Furthermore, if we add another dimension, month name here, shared dimension, it goes in there. Uh, actually, we already got months as part of a hierarchy, but very often we'd like to have that as a separate dimension or a separate attribute. Again, we go here and change the names of the dimension and the attribute itself. But what is more important here is that when you have a month attribute or a level like this, uh, it will very often show up in a wrong sorting order simply because uh, month names, January, February, March, etc., will make April and August starting with an A with the first two months. And we don't want that. Now, to fix that, we can have a look at this property called the key column here. Uh, actually, in the table, we also got month numbers. So if we use that as a key, as an ID identifier for our month uh, level here, and then at the same time, make sure that everything is being ordered by or sorted by, by the key 1 through 12. Then the sorting will be correct. And this property here, the, the name column property, will make sure that we still see the month names. And that's actually also what I did uh, for the month level in my hierarchy.